G'day mate, stick with me for the next several minutes and I promise you will help you in your walk with the Lord. I call these little, little golden nuggets and they're just things that will just encourage you to keep going. Yep, this week I'd like to call this little golden gem a work in progress. Listen to this story. Susie and I had just got married. We, we'd become born again Christians and we're going to Garden City Christian Church, beautiful church, all good. So we're doing everything we could that was right, you know. Now, we lived in a unit, it was called Unit 2, 1380 Logan Road, Mount Cravat. Um, it was a place they called Skinny's Hideout. It was like a three layered uh, building. Uh, right at the top were two units. Uh, we lived in unit two and then underneath the units was the skinny's hideout where they sold um you know uh, furs for uh, kangaroos and golf ball golf bags sorry and all those sort of things and then underneath that again was the car park now from my balcony the balcony was back the front sort of thing so you looked out the backyard uh, with the balcony and you could see straight down basically to the to the uh, to the cars below uh, Susie decided to get a diary and write in it on a daily basis and for this 12 months that we were married uh, at that time of course we're still married 30 something years later but at that time we were new Christians trying to get you know right with God trying to do it all right and we had a fight a um, a verbal fight with each other on a daily basis for 12 months, every day for 12 months. And um, what had taken place is uh, uh, Susie, uh, I came home there and she, I, I went and bought a record, I think it was from memory, it was a record of Dion, one of the most famous in those days uh, Christian singers and um, Susie left the the, uh, the record, uh, we went down the shop, we didn't have air conditioners and things like that those days, and she, <laughs> she left this record sitting on the dashboard of my car in 30, 35 degree heat on the outside. I uh, ran into the shop, and when she came out of the shop, obviously the uh, record was now a dashboard. And uh, so I was pretty upset. Yes, my Dion record. The one that I had only a few bucks left and uh, Susie went and left it on the dash and it became a dash and uh, in that 35 degree heat <laughs> so you can understand I was mad it was our last dollars and me I just wanted to hear that beautiful voice anyway uh, it started us fighting we get home and um, like I said we lived upstairs Susie and I this tremendous fight I picked up her clothes and I threw them out the top window of this three-story building and uh, they fluttered all over the people next door knew we were Christians they'd seen us go to church <laughs> and they must have been sitting there thinking wow what a bunch of hypocrites <laughs> But that's what happens when you're a brand new Christian and you don't understand what's going on. So, I mean, I was furious. Well, now Sue's furious. And uh, she turns around and uh, I said, I'm out of here. So as I've walked out the, the, uh, the front door, or it's really like around the back, <clears throat> going out to the balcony, as I'm going down the stairs, I see something fly straight by me, by me and I'm like, what was that? And I heard this tremendous big crash and somehow or other this huge, very big pot plant, Susie somehow or other lifted it up or just basically dropped it and it went crashing down straight down to the bonnet of my car and I mean I go down and I look at this now and I see the bonnet and it's got flowers sitting out of the bonnet and the bonnet's bent like this and I just said Lord I give up you can carry on and in the end you know you can have a gigantic fight where someone can get hurt or just simply say I'm sorry Lord 
It's, a, it's called a work in progress to me. I, um, when I look at the Bible, I see where Peter was a man that was a work in progress. <clears throat> um, I always believe that we get saved and someone like me, Terry Walker, who'd done prison, a lot of jail and all that sort of stuff and the crazy stuff I was doing before I became a Christian, I look at, um, I had a lot of jail, you might say, in my head, you know, wrong thoughts. <clears throat> and the Word of God talks about in Romans, you know, where it says we've got to renew the mind with the Word of God. And that takes time. So it's a, um, it's a process of, uh, of um, you know, change, um, a work in progress. And uh, the, 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 the part that you've got to understand is like God forgives you when you do, once you've said, look, I'm sorry, Lord, you know, like I got the suit, throwing that thing over there, and I just got to put my hands up and I said, this like, I'm either going to have to kill her or, <laughs> or repent and say, I'm sorry, Lord. <clears throat> and, and that was what I did. And thank God I did that. Thank God I started on that path and kept going down that path. And of course, until today, and we're still all together. Um, and that's that's what it's all about. It's it's a it's it's a place where we're being changed through the power of God, through um, His power that's come into us. And uh, the other thing we've got to realise it's it's a, it's a process. So you're going through things at the moment, and you've had a fall. And in, in, look, you know the Bible says, that "Though I have fallen, I shall arise." So get up, Micah chapter seven verse eight. I think it is. Though I have fallen, I shall arise. That is what God wants us to do. When we get over, it's like you're going down a, you know, a, an elevator and you slip over right down the end, you know, and, and there's all these people watching you. Well, you want to get up real quick and keep going. And that's exactly what it is. You know, you've got to get up. Don't stay down, whatever you do. No matter what you've done, honestly, I mean, um, I could, I could, more than likely say that I've done similar things to you, apart from murder. Um, and and honestly, uh, God has forgiven me from all. And how many times have I fallen? Many times. But one thing is about me and God is I'll get up every time because I know that God's changing me. It is a process. I'm on the way. I'm still not there even today. Um, although now I'm, you know, getting older in age, but I'm getting more wiser too. I've got a bit of grey hair, so I'm getting wiser. And uh, and I realise that, you know, it's just a process. And the process that you're going through right now, it's just um, a normal thing. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't uh, sit there and condemn yourself. It's not worth it. You just got to go back to God and say, God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. How about now? I have a pray with you and ask the Lord for forgiveness and also ask the Lord to come into your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just come to you right now and I thank you for whoever's listening to this right this moment that the power of God will be released into this uh, message and Lord, that your Holy Ghost will touch these people. If you're there right now, say this prayer after me. Jesus, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Right now, in the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. You said that prayer for the first time. You just invited Jesus into your heart. Your whole life will change. If you've just said it, being what, you know, you listen to what i got to say, well, praise the Lord. That's a good thing. And I can tell you right now, don't quit. Whatever you do, just don't quit, because if you quit, you'll lose. It, well, I've always said this in my church, for 16 years running a church, I said this, that if we don't quit, we win. Amen.